Why the Dominican Republic? I have no idea. I did not choose the Dominican Republic. The Dominican Republic chose me. No, God chose the Dominican Republic. I did not choose it. God chose it. Hello, hola, it's Yanni and Kayla. Hola, hello from the TR of Buffalo. When I was in high school, I went on two trips to the Dominican Republic with my church through Sport International. And I don't know why they chose the Dominican Republic. My church did not go on missions trips. I remember a couple of my friends went to Africa, but I didn't go on that trip, and I'm not sure why. But I went on the two to the Dominican Republic, and when I came back the first time, I said I was going to move to the Dominican Republic to teach one day. And then when I went the second time, I was like, I'm definitely moving to the Dominican Republic to teach. It was me, like I wanted to do it, I wanted to teach, I wanted to come here, but also God wanted me to do it and I knew that he was telling me to do it. Then, I sort of forgot about it because I went to college, then I went to graduate school, then I needed surgery on my back, major surgery on my back, and I couldn't go anymore, and I just forgot about it, I don't know. When I came as a teenager, there were so many things I loved about the Dominican Republic. I loved the people. They are friendly. They are kind. They are welcoming. Everyone I met, at least. They are hospitable. And it's just a whole nother level of friendly. There are friendly people in the United States, but the Dominicans that I've met, it's just all whole nother level of friendly. The Dominican is warm, which I love. I love the weather, even though sometimes it is a little bit hot, but I love the weather. I just love the culture. There's no pressure to be perfect. There's no pressure to be busy all the time. There's no pressure to do your best and be your best at all times. Even though some of my students, for some reason, you know who you are, they need a hundred and they strive for a hundred and they put a lot of pressure on themselves. So in certain ways, some aspects of life, there's pressure to perform well. There's no expectation that you have to be busy or productive all the time. If you want to relax, you can relax. And I just, I love that. So in November of 2019, I found out that my church, which was a different church than the first time, that they were going to the Dominican Republic. And I saw the announcement, they were going three months later. So I found out three months before they were leaving. I was like, I must go, I need to go on this trip. So I asked my school and they said I could go. They gave me permission. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the whole district declared bankruptcy and they were in debt and they said they were not approving time off anymore. So I remember my supervisor, my principal called me into her office and she said I couldn't go. She said I was not approved for the time off. And I literally left her office and just cried because I knew God wanted me to go on this trip. It wasn't like I was just making a stupid decision to go against my supervisor or my principal and go anyway even though she said if I went on the trip I would be either suspended or I would be fired and that's what she said and I was like but I have to go on this trip never has that ever happened in my life it's not like I'm just gonna not go to work one day because oh god told me not to go to work today like it's not something that has ever happened before where God told me to do something and it didn't make sense and it went against all, all logic, all reason, but he told me to go on this trip and I couldn't wait. Like there was gonna be another trip that summer and so like people suggested like, hey, why don't we just wait till the summer? But God told me that I needed to go on that trip. I didn't know that everything was gonna shut down that summer, but God knew that. and. That's why I needed to go on this specific trip. It was literally the last trip that they had and then everything shut down. 
So I didn't know that at the time. I just had this feeling that I had to go on that specific trip. So in January of 2020, I went on the trip. That was where I went to Las Palmas Christian School, where I work now, and I applied there. I met with the director, and she offered me the position. I was not planning on leaving. I was not planning on quitting my job. I was not planning on moving to the Dominican Republic at all. I just wanted to go on this missions trip for 10 days. That's it. But my school threatened to fire me. So I was like, I need a backup. So that's when I asked, hey, are there any jobs in the Dominican Republic, any teaching jobs? And so that's when I found out about Las Palmas Christian School. And when I came back after the trip, my school did nothing. I showed up for work the next day. No one said anything. I walked right in. No one looked at me. No one said anything. I was not suspended. I was not fired. Absolutely nothing happened. But because of the threat and because of everything, how it happened, I did end up accepting the position in the Dominican Republic and I stayed the rest of the school year. And then I said that I was going to move to the Dominican Republic to teach after that. On July 31st, 2020, when everything was closed, I moved to San Pedro de Macris to teach at Las Palmas Christian School. And also, I happened to meet Mariano on that mission trip, and we just happened to be talking at the same time, and we happened to get engaged around that time too, so that all happened at the same time. But that's another story. So basically, I'm not saying that anyone should go on a missions trip when their boss says they're going to fire them. I am not saying that you should just leave your job and go to the Dominican Republic when you don't have any money and you don't have any savings. And I'm not saying that anybody should just make decisions based on what they're feeling, based on, oh, I feel like moving to the Dominican Republic, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to move just because that's what I feel like doing that day. No, I'm not saying any of that. I'm saying God told me to move here. He told me I needed to do it now. It didn't matter that I didn't have any money. It didn't matter that I was not prepared at all. I had like six months to sell all my stuff and come here. I was not prepared. I don't have retirement anymore. I gave up my retirement. I gave up my good health insurance. But God told me to do it. And when God tells us to do something, he will take care of us. If I did listen to the people around me who told me to wait another year and save up money or wait until there was a better time to move or if I had waited until I had more money saved up or whatever, if I had listened to the people who were giving me that kind of advice, I would have been disobeying God and that would not have been good because that's not what God wanted me to do and that's not what God had planned for me. So I'm glad that I didn't listen to them. I'm glad that I didn't do something logical for once in my life because I knew that it was what God wanted. So I love the Dominican Republic. If it was up to me, I would live here forever, but we'll see what God has. If you are curious about what we love about the Dominican or why we love living here, we have separate videos about that, but otherwise, that's why I moved to the Dominican Republic. Until next time. Hopefully Mariana won't be with me next time. I'm doing fine. So is your worried mind. Sit back and close your eyes. so very nice I'm happier than I've ever been in my